Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Jarad. From today onwards, off and on, I plan to speak about the Synod that had happened in Rome, started off, was inaugurated by Pope Francis in Rome yesterday. You will realize that the Synod is not just something that happens in Rome, but it touches our very lives, whether it is in the parish or even in our family. Now, what is a Synod? A synod is a coming together of bishops in Rome to discuss about important matters recently we've had on the Amazon, on youth and on families. This synod is for a synodal church. It's like preaching a sermon on how to preach a sermon. So, synod. Synod comes from a Greek word which means walking together. As you can see, the logo over here of the synod 15 of these images walking together. The three sub-themes of the Synod are communion, participation and mission. So first of all, communion. The church is communion. Why do we say that? Because we are created in the image and likeness of God and God himself is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, a communion of people. So the first understanding when we speak of synod is we are a communion. We are one body. Of who? Take a look at this image. Children, youth, a handicapped person, a senior person, a person here who doesn't even have a hand, loved by God. Here you have a couple. And here you see interestingly the bishop and the religious are not leading, but they are among the people on the same level, all walking in the same direction. So communion. The second theme is participation. Who participates? Everybody, even a little child, because as the Bible says, to such belong the kingdom of God. And the mysteries of the kingdom are revealed to little children. But Pope Francis is very clear, and it's not him saying it, it's what Vatican II said in 1965 and what the essence of the church is. The church is everybody. So not just those who come to church who are going to participate, but those who don't come to church, those who have left the church, those who are atheistic, those who have a negative opinion of the church, those who don't belong to the faith, those who believe in other ways. Everybody is part of this process. You know, if you really want to know something about yourself, don't ask your friend. Ask someone who doesn't like you and you'll get the truth. So it's good to get everybody to participate in this whole process of what it means to be synod. And the third is mission. You know the Coca-Cola company many years back, they said every day they would sell one billion bottles of Coca-Cola. And the staff said, one billion? Impossible! But they had this mission and the whole company was focused on it. Today, if you check Google, they say there's 1.7 products of Coca-Cola sold every day. Now, the church is not selling Coca-Cola. The church is giving something much, much more important, the kingdom of God. And so we have a mission. We are marching forward together. We need all our energies geared up. This is an exciting time, or as Pope Francis says, the springtime of a church, the church, to start off in a new way, not being new, but being who we are, a synodal church. My dear brothers and sisters, there's one aim of the synod, and that one aim is listen. Listen to whom? Everybody, even those who don't think like ourselves. And most importantly, true listening to people, true listening to the signs of the times, listening to what is the Spirit of God saying to the church today. My dear friends, this is such an exciting moment for the church, not just in Rome, but even in your home. God bless you. If you like this video, please share it with others and do subscribe to this channel. I said off and on, I'll give you something about the Synod because even the documents that have already been given us are so beautiful and meaning even for our personal lives. And may Almighty God bless you and your families and our wonderful church that we live in, that together we discover in a new way what we always were, the Father, 
Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day with Jesus. Prayer for the Synod We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen.